Welcome to my Shrine Room, and today I want to talk about meditation posture. And I, was, I want to say that uh, actually before we uh, sit down to practice and find our posture, it might be good to examine our attitude uh, when, before we sit, because in this fast-paced world that we live in, we usually make everything a project. And so act- when we go to sit down, we kind of assume a posture and think, okay, now I'm meditating, when in fact that's not really the best attitude to bring to our meditation. Um, so oftentimes I notice that when people sit, and I'm just going to here, you know, do it with my legs crossed. However, I also want to demonstrate that this is also a really wonderful posture. Um, if, if you have trouble crossing your legs, um, that just to keep your feet grounded and your hands on your knees, but I'm I'm more comfortable like this most of the time. So, and this is more traditional, I think. But either way is good. But often when people sit, they assume this posture. This is like the good Buddhist posture. It's very stiff. There's this feeling like, okay, I wasn't a religious person, but now that I'm sitting down <laughs> and I'm about to meditate, I've become a spiritual person or a, a religious uh, person. <laughs> and so it's very stiff and very. Um, pious or something, and that's not what this is about. We're not trying to be good. We're trying to find a way of being that's very relaxed and natural. So again, we can sit like this, and often, if we need to, we can prop ourselves up like this, um, use a cushion. This is a really high one, a little bit too high for me, but um, whatever's comfortable for you. Um, And the purpose is that one of the things to focus on physically is to try to sit on your seat bones so that your your spine can be strong and erect and you can feel stable or supported um, in that way. Um, And then oftentimes people, when they're sitting, they jut their, they either go like this, they jut their neck out, or they kind of go like this. Um, So the point is that the head is an extension of the spine um, and to, but it doesn't have to be this very tense situation that you, you keep it. You can be relaxed and sit erect at the same time. Um, and then the eyes are soft and open, so they're not um, grasping it, at, at the phenomena. Um, that they can just, you can, you can keep coming back to the ideas with the eyes that you're just, you know, taking things in and not, not um, grasping at any one particular object, which is nice because we don't uh, give our, our eyes a rest much of the time. Um, and then this, this particular posture, sitting cross-legged with your hands on your knees, is associated with um, a great meditator, Longchenpa, and it's the actual name of this posture is mind at ease, which gives you a good sense of um, what it should feel like when you sit to meditate, which is the whole purpose is to rest at ease. Um, so when, when we're sitting, then, you know, we might notice at first that we tense in certain areas. So the whole point is to kind of notice that, maybe even before we start our formal practice, whatever that is, to kind of notice where we're contracting and, and let it go and consider that actually this posture is about ease. But it has a structure which gives it energy. So it's not sloppy and floppy, but it's not uptight and um, contrived. Um, so it's a sense of ease that, that we're getting at, and this is the posture is the first thing um, we think of when we sit to meditate. So again, just bring the attitude, uh, this attitude of, of relaxation or not making something a project, not contriving a sense of, who you are, or a new identity, just because you're sitting to meditate. And just um, keep in mind the sense of naturalness um, would be a good way to start.